All right, so what I have here is I have a, uh, you know, just a cheap little craftsman toolbox. And uh, I have a, a nice little 5 watt solar panel here. And what, what I'm going to end up with in that shed down there is this toolbox is going to be in there. I'm going to have the solar panel just outside the shed, probably on that little post that's down there. And then uh, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to walk into the shed, uh, go in there and say, well, okay, I want to run my lights. And basically what I've done is I've got a wire coming out of the toolbox here that goes. And I'm going to run these uh, LED lights. And uh, to turn them on, when I go in the shed, I want to put a timer on them. So I've got this uh, rotary timer switch here that, um, you know, you can set it to run and then automatically shut off. But uh, these lights don't look very bright in the daytime, but at nighttime, in a shed like that down where you don't really have a whole lot, a lot of light going on, they're very useful. So what I'm going to do is not just run this one string, but I've got two other strings also that... Uh, I'm going to hook up in the uh, inside the shed so that when I go down in there, I'll get, um, you know, to this timer switch. And then after a while, it'll automatically turn off and then um, shut off the lights and preserve the power. So one of the other things I'm interested in doing is making sure that when, when I have something like this is what's the state of the battery. So I thought, well, let me put a switch on up here and it'll tell me the uh, state of charge on the battery. So I can kind of monitor what um, what strength I have. So that's just an on off switch to run to the LED um, indicator there for that. So let's take a look at what I have inside. Okay, so I have the solar panel and then, you know, it came with uh, its connectors. These are SAE connectors, I believe, which is used on automotive commonly, motorcycle chargers and such. And I have them going to charge these uh, four little batteries that I have in here. These are uh, all 12 volt batteries, I think they're like 8 amp or so, I'm not sure. I'll put that in the description somewhere. But uh, I got these at my local recycle center for like a dollar a piece. <laughs> uh, normally they can be like 15 or $20 a piece, so I got them pretty cheap. Toolbox is about 10 bucks. And I got the timer switch off of Amazon, uh, hooked that up. I think it was like 10 or $15. And then just did the wiring on my own. So I have red going to red on the four batteries and then black going to black on four batteries, making it one larger battery that should have uh, a little bit of a bank on it that uh, would, would let it run a little bit longer. But even with that, I wanted to make sure I could monitor uh, the battery state of charge and tell me how much is in there at any time. So just to make sure, you know, I'm not, not running these down too much. Now, there's no what they call charge controller on this to avoid overcooking the batteries, but I think it it should uh, do me well. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll put this together and uh, probably get an update later. Let, let everyone know how it's going on. But for a solution where you've got a shed that's kind of far away from your power, um, I thought, well, hey, this might be a good way to get some light in there because inevitably I'll need to run in there when it's dark out and this would uh, give me a little bit of time to, um, you know, uh, time and light to get in there and, and see what's going around. So you can see there with it turned on, you know, it's it's taking the light uh, strips turned on. I'm going to turn it off manually here and it should jump back up. There it goes. Um, so it's it's working as I've kind of designed it and I'll put it in and uh, get an update later on how it how it works, but it should work fine. It's kind of what I have in my other main shed and um, Thanks for watching everyone